In this video, we review all the essential terms related to circles that we'll be using in further micro lessons. To start, we first define a center point and a fixed distance from that point. Then plot all the points that have this distance from the center to give a circle. So a circle is defined as the set of points that have the same distance or are equidistant from the center. We call that fixed distance the radius of the circle. Another way of thinking about a circle is to consider the regular polygons formed within a circle. As we increase the number of sides, we see that the polygon starts to approximate a circle. We can't really define a circle as an infinite-sided regular polygon because a polygon, by definition, has straight sides, and circles are curved. But we can say that as the number of sides increase, the regular polygon approaches the shape of a circle. The circumference is a special name given to the perimeter of a circle, that is, the distance around the outside border of the circle. A chord is a line segment that joins any two points on the circumference. The longest chord in a circle is called the diameter. The diameter connects any two points on opposite sides of the circle, always passing through the circle's center. The radius is half of the diameter, connecting the center with any point on the circumference. An arc is any portion of the circumference of a circle. Given two points on the circumference, we can actually define two possible arcs. The shortest is called the minor arc, while the longest is called the major arc. A sector is a portion of the circle enclosed between two radii and the arc that joins them. Given any two radii, we can define two possible sectors. This smaller sector is formed between the radii and the minor arc, we call this the minor sector. The larger sector is formed between the radii and the major arc. We call this the major sector. A segment is the portion of a circle enclosed between a chord and an arc. Again, we can define the minor segment, enclosed by the minor arc, and the major segment, enclosed by the major arc. Finally, we define a tangent to a circle as a line that touches just one point on a circle. No matter how close we zoom in on the circle, the tangent is only ever seen touching this single point. If we move any tangent into the circle, it immediately cuts the circle's circumference at two points. We call this line a secant. So, in this video we've reviewed all the important circle terms we need to be familiar with. We've looked at the circumference, a chord, a diameter, a radius, an arc, a sector, a segment, a tangent, and a secant.